captain of a ship. Uh, I have a lot of people I have to take care of, and it's a, it's a responsibility that I take very seriously. Um, this is a team effort, and, you know, even though I am the captain of the ship, this, this is truly an ensemble cast. It's a group effort, absolutely. But you're the one who gets to make the amazing Save Humanity speeches. That's true. It's up to us. How exciting are those days? It's fun. The words are good, and uh, if the show's a hit, I get to bask in the glory. Um, and, and if the show tanks, I get to bask in the glory of that too. <laughs> Um, but it's, it's, it's been a nice change of pace. I, uh, I'm very comfortable in this role. This is my favorite kind of role to play. This is like a perfect blend of everything that if I was to have taken all of my favorite bits and parts that I've played before, I've, it's now sort of culminated with this one character, which is Rachel Scott. I am the uh, Naval Mountain Warfare Division, the Navy SEAL. Uh, so I get to go on a lot of the fun missions that are off the ship. Yeah, and this is my little relationship. <laughs> Secrets under the radar. What happened with the concrete? You said it's inappropriate. No, no. Completely inappropriate, yes. What you can happened? get kicked off the ship. Oh, really? Yeah, you can. You can uh, Luckily for you, that won't happen, right? In this situation. <laughs> well, the world is ending. I think we've got bigger problems to deal with. <laughs> The XO's role is to challenge the captain, are you sure? But not in a disrespectful way, in a, uh, in a supportive way. But does he have his eye on the big chair? As, as anyone familiar with the storyline knows, Slattery was ready to move up into the CO's chair, but things, <laughs> things take a turn for the worse, so I couldn't do it. Seven months ago, outside Cairo, there was an outbreak. A virus that was like nothing any of us had ever seen. When we left Norfolk, the virus was at phase two. We are now at phase six. Global pandemic. I say the decisions, I don't write the decisions. You know, I, I got writers for that, but they've all guided us really, really well throughout this thing. And it's been, it's, it's been a lot of work. It's been a lot of work. You know, we've, we've cross-boarded the entire season. Um, We've shot the first three episodes at, at once, at the same time, jumped to episode. I mean, it's just, it's been, it's, it's been, you know, we've been put through the ringer. And the writers and the directors have done a really great job keeping us, you know, where we need to be and making sure that we have uh, information that we need so that we can, you know, get through the scene and make it track. Uh, so that it all makes sense when, when, when you watch it. When I was given the opportunity to do this, I, you know, I, I was working on another show and I begged to come and uh, to, to be able to work out a schedule so I could come and do this because of the balance of who she represents um, in a world that I, and a, and a temperature of a subject matter that I'm very interested in. I don't believe this is just some bombastic, phas phantasmagorical, boom boom show you know i really believe the undercurrent of what this represents is a real reality for us and i'm very very interested in that but i think the most important thing to realize about this show too and integrating into the ship itself are the relationships that have to develop because you know like a television show but do you like the people on board and this crew and cast has been one of the most pleasurable experiences it's as fun to work on this as it was firefly or i worked on chuck too and Everyone loves each other, everyone's working hard and maintaining uh, discipline and bringing TNT, we know drama, sorry, <laughs> we know drama. However, the behavior between cast members is such that you believe it. it's real because you have people you like, they're good, and they're fun, I'm one of them. Ha. The Russian pals are back. Commander Chandler. Turn over the doctor. Sorry, Admiral. I don't take orders from you. That was an incredible night, actually. We shot a couple of nights on the, in the, on the Iowa in Long Beach. And it's one of those ones where you, I, we'd been working inside the ship and we came out and they dressed the ship with all these Russian sailors. All these amazing Russian sailors and they're all there like smoking <laughs> and like doing like Russian. And I was like, oh my God, what have I stepped down to? Who did this? Where did you all come from? It was amazing. And it was like three o'clock in the morning and the wind was blowing. And I was like, this is, this is a TV show? What are we, do, what are we doing here? And they were all much more handsome. 
They had that kind of European thing, and I was like, I think I want to stay on this ship. <laughs> what was your reaction when you saw it all put together, and, and to say that this is television, this, this is such high quality, and it's TV? I think that's where TV's heading. I mean, television over the past 10 years has made uh, huge uh, leaps as far as like uh, the, the production value of some of these shows that are put on the air. You know, I'd like to say that what we're doing hasn't been done before as far as the production value goes. I haven't seen anything on TV that looks like this, but I think television in general has been moving towards this, uh, you know, standard of quality that is uh, on par with cinema. All right, everybody, that wraps it up for us here on the set of TNT's new action adventure series, The Last Ship. We had a great time talking with the cast, and we've seen some amazing stuff. I wish I could tell you more about it, but, uh, you know. Now our duty is to the entire world. For our futures, for our families, and for all humanity. Our mission now is simple. Stay alive until they find that cure.